Hello everyone, I'm Jung Chol. Today I will show you how to install CentOS 5.8 on VMware Workstation 9. Okay, I will change the pen. Okay. In this video, there are two parts. The part one will focusing on the explanation, especially the, about the VMware setting. So, in step one, VMware setting. And uh, step two, three, four is a uh, kind of the exploration about the Linux partition. I think before we start installation of CentOS operating system, we have to know this kind of knowledge. Part two, installation practice. In the process of installation, I think that the other part not so difficult to understand or follow me, but only if you understand the partition plan and the package selections, I think this uh, installation process will be so easy. Okay, step one, VM setting. Number one, in my case, I will use this one. Host operating system will be Windows 7 Home Premium K. And this OS has this kind of specification as a processor and RAM size. In my case, I'm using 10 gigabyte RAM size. Number two, virtual program. In this video, I will use VMware Workstation 9. Number three, guest OS. So here will be the CentOS 5.8. And if you want download, please visit this website and download these two ISO files. Number four, hard disk space. In this video, I will allocate 30 gigabytes as a hard disk space. And number five, if we finish this kind of the process, we have to the customize the hardware. For example, network type selection will be the NAT and the memory size 1 gigabyte and if unnecessary we will remove floppy disk like this okay step 2 linux partition normally linux system can support maximum partitions for each hard disk for example 16 partitions on SCAS or SATA and 60 partition numbers on ID disk so if we want to have or make over 16 partitions we have to add one more hard disk number two partition types there are three kind partition types in this system primary extended and logical primary normally it's only the support maximum for partitions so if we need over four partitions, we have to use logical partitions. So over four partitions. And logical partition always start from number five. For example, DVSDA5. This is uh, the partition number. So in case of SCSI or SATA. And DVHDA5 in case of IDA. And all logical partitions belong to extended partitions so here number b extended partition contains the all logical partitions that in the linux partition layout we must only use only one extended partition number three tools to control partition in linux if we want to control partition later, we can use this kind of tool, F disk, CF disk, and SF disk. Later, I will upload the video to explain the how to control Linux partition using this kind of tools. Step 3, Linux partition example. Number 1, two primary and three logical partitions. In this case, primary will be the partition number as they one as they two and the logical number will be i already told you always logical number start five so here will be a state five and after that next six and seven like this so here extended partition will have the partition number as day three i already told you in the partition layout only there will be only one extended partition number number two 
three primary and the logical part five logical partitions. In this case, primary will be as day one, as day two, as day three, and the logical number will start five. So as day five, six, seven, eight, and as day nine. So in this case, extended will be as day four. Okay, Linux file system layout. Uh, in this video, I will allocate 30 gigabyte for hard disk space, and using this 30 gigabyte hard disk space, I will allocate like this. So this is a kind of file system layout. First one, SD1 will be boot. We call this one mount point, and this boot will contain this information: the kernel images, and the disk space will be 100 megabyte. SD2 will be root. We call this one root. And this root will contain files and directories that are critical for system operation. In this video, will be 8 gigabyte. SD3 will swap. Swap is a memory on hard disk. In this video, I'll allocate 1 gigabyte. According to the official theory, normally swap can be allocated the twice of the physical memory size. But even if uh, we allocate like this, it's no problem. And uh, SD5 will be home. Home is a user's home directory in this video, 500 megabyte. And the uh, number six, SD6 will be the VAR. VAR normally contains this kind of information like a spool or error log directory. In this video will be eight gigabyte. SD7 will be the USR. USR normally can be installed it like uh, packages and binary files. In this video, I will allocate 12 gigabyte. Uh, SDA123 will be in this uh, layout. SDA123 will be the primary partitions, and the number five to uh, seven will be logical partitions and extended partition will be SD4. So in the logical partitions, SD5, SD6, 7, normally this kind of number, the partition number will can be changeable. Okay, then let's start installation. Oh, I'm sorry, this one. Okay, this is a VMware station. Let's start create. Okay, select here, typical, next. And uh, here, please uh, select this one. I will install the operating system later. And next will be the Linux and the button here. There are so many buttons, but we will select CentOS. And the uh, virtual machine name will be, in my case, uh, okay, okay, CentOS 6. And the uh, hard disk space will be 30 gigabyte. And the speed virtual disk here. And the customized hardware. So here you can select the memory size. If we want to two gigabyte, it's okay. One, one gig. I think it's the one gigabyte is enough. Okay, processor will be two. And the CD floppy, I don't need floppy, so remove. Okay. And the network adapter will be network adapter has the three kinds of types: bridge, NAT, host. So here I will select NAT as a default network uh, connection. And the others, okay, then close. Okay, finish. And of that, power on. But this one will not find the exact operating system. Okay, so even if DHCP is to start, but cannot find. Okay, so here, please click the VM, power. Okay, oh, no, no, no. Removal, the device is here. And the CD DVD setting. So here, select iOS image, browse. In my case, now I will select download program operating system, send to OS here, send to OS 5.8, DVD 1 of 2. Okay. Okay. And after that, so here you can, we can, we the, see that this kind of the message operating system are found. So here, VM. Uh, removable device, please check this one, uh, connected like this, and have their power reset.
Okay, then this one will uh, start installation. Okay, enter. Okay, here, press uh, the select the skip. Now, Anaconda is uh, starting. The center is a system installer. Okay, now let's start the installation. Next. And the uh, language type also, English. Next. And the keyboard type, yes, English. Okay, next. And uh, here, maybe for the format of the file, the partition. Okay, yes. Okay, here, the file, the partition type, please uh, select this one, create custom layout. Okay, next. So now here we can find the 30 gigabyte hard disk spaces. So here, let's start the partition. Let's make a start making the partitions. Please select new. And the past partition, past partition will be boot. And the file system type will be ext3. And the size will be 100 megabyte. And the fixed size. And here, please check this one. Force to be a primary partition. Okay. So now, boot now the device will be dvsd1 okay next make a root so here root and the file system x3 and the size will be 8 gigabyte and the fixed size force to here force to be a primary partition and after that pre new and here we have to install the swap and this one will be one gigabyte. So one to 24 megabyte and the fixed size and the force to be a primary partition. Okay. So now we made a three, a state one, a state two, a state three. So now let's make a next home. So this one will be 500 fixed size. And uh, this one cannot be primary because we need more partition. So, okay. So, can you see here? SDA4 now extended and SDA5, this one home and this one is a logical partition. And we need two more partition. Do VAR and here I will locate 8000 megabyte picks the size and of that, okay. And after that, uh, one more here, USR. Okay, so this one also fixed the size. And uh, here, in my case, 12 gigabyte. Okay, so we okay, finished. But uh, this one is a pre space around, uh, around the three around uh, one gigabyte so later we will use this one okay next and uh, this one is the bootloader so here let's add the send os uh, 363 okay 3.3 .3. okay next and uh, this is a network configuration the default is a dhcp and the host name also so after we complete complete this installation we can change this setting okay so that's here just the next and the please to select your time uh system clock in my case uh where is the phnom pen what you mean what you mean okay okay here i select here phnom pen and the root password, you have to decide by yourself. Okay, confirm. And the package installation, so desktop, GNOME, server, and the server GUI. And after that here, please select customize now. Okay, next. So here you can find the many packages. Application, okay, in my case, I select Eclipse and uh, I don't use the game entertainment uh, engineering and uh, okay this one scientific graphics office 
sound and video, text based on internal auth graphics I don't use. Base system, okay, here Java, and have the system tools and X windows. Okay, cluster, I don't use the clustering. And the desktop, okay, GNOME. If you want to use the KD, it's okay. Okay, development, uh, library, tools, GNOME software, Java, okay, loose and X software development, like this. And the languages, uh, in my case here, Chinese, uh, Chinese and uh, French and uh, Japanese and Korean like this okay server DNS server, FTP server, legacy I don't use mail server, MySQL network server, news server I don't use and uh, first one, okay printing server configuration to web server, window file server okay so now next Then this one will start the installation. So here maybe it'll take uh, 10 or 20 minutes according to your the specification of the operating system. So uh, here you can take a break for a moment. Uh, in my case, in this uh, one, if we select the language part, we need two disk. So in this case, maybe we have to consider uh okay continue okay let's take a break okay here we have to change the iso file here okay removal device setting iso file two two of two and okay and after that device connect so please check Corrected now. Okay. Okay, now let's reboot. Okay, just here, enter. Okay, here, uh, just a post boot setting forward, and here you can select the firewall setting. In my case, I will select disabled. Later, you can change this one. Okay, yes, and the SE Linux also disable forward. Yes, and the uh, K dump just forward, and the select your date and time. And uh, create user just uh, forward. You can make the, you can create later. Okay, South Card, Additional CD. Okay, here, Enter. Okay, here in my case, username root, password. Okay, now I'm successful to install all sources. So here, if we want to the shutdown the system, you can use this command init zero. Okay. Okay, so far I show you how to install CentOS 5.8 on VMA Workstation. Thank you for watching this video and may God bless you. See you in next video. Thank you.